Introducing again a fighting out of the red corner, Lewis Dowling. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, David Gregory. This fight is sponsored by New Chaps. Handed over to referee Gav. Fight is called the, the centre of the ring. The shorter of the two men, Lewis Downey in the red corner, Damon Gregory in the blue, Bam Bam in his corner, the main event this evening. Co part of it with Dean Mayer, cornering his son early in the evening. And Damon Gregory will have the height advantage. Can he make it pay against Lewis Downey? Always intriguing when it's a shorter boxer. This is a taller boxer. Taller boxer will want to keep it arranged. Good straight punches from Gregory. Downey on the back foot, but pushing out the jab, but he's getting caught by these hooking punches from Gregory. Gregory works the body there with the right hand. Not worried about defence here as he pulls forward, looking to put Downey under pressure. Downey bobbing and weaving, just moving up the range of that left hand. Then the left and right comes over from Gregory, takes a stiff left back. As I said, it's all about the aggression at the moment from Gregory coming forward. That's good double body shots there from Downey. Rights and lefts to the head though from Gregory, good right hand back. Downey working his way into this round after a solid start from Gregory. But Gregory has Downey backed up once more. Good stiff jab from Gregory to the face of Downey again, backing his man up. Downey's had some good work, especially to the body. But he spent too long with his back to the ropes like this, with Gregory pushing on pressure. And that right hand hurt. That big looping right hand caught his man clean. Tough times here for Lewis Downey in the opening round. Backed up in the corner for most of it. And that right hand again, the face of Downey. Streaming blood now. And he slowed as well as Gregory pushes in with these heavy shots. Stiff left and right from Gregory. Backs his man up and he lands cleanly again. And the shots from Lewis Downey are single shots in retaliation now. But he has reached the end of the first round. And Gregory expended a lot of energy in the opening round. He went for the knockout. Lots of shots landed. Solid chin Downey displayed. And now the corner had the opportunity to work with him. If you can get back to your corner at the end of that opening round, especially if you've been under a barrage of punches like Lewis Downey was, you can calm your boxer. You can tell him what's going right. You can tell him, more importantly, what's going wrong and how to correct it. For Gregory, he'll probably just want to keep coming out the same way. He had a lot of success in that opening round. A lot of big shots landing, but he hasn't put his man away. Now, for Lewis Downey, I did like the work when he got on the inside, when he got close. Some excellent shots to the body there. He has to get inside those long arms of Gregory earlier, work to the body and head, and then get out safely. That's the problem. For Downey, for Gregory, he's just got to keep it at range. So here we go. Second round of three. Gregory, a big opening round. Can he keep it up here in the second? We are still up. 
just go off me. Round two. Two or three. Gregory walking his man down once more. Throws the first jab. Little bob and weave, and then the hooks come flying in again. Bobbing and weaving in reply, Downey. Looking to get his own shots. Little shovel hook to the body there from Downey. Gregory relentless in his pursuit of his man. A lot of this on the gloves, though. Downey tucking up tightly here. And a lot on the gloves. Right hand reply just misses the target of Gregory. Looks for the little left uppercut. Now Downey coming forward, working the body and head. First backward steps in the back for Gregory. Downey looping bolo right punch. The left hook to the body was better. Gregory noticeably slower than he was in the first round. A lot of energy expended in that opener by the man in the blue corner. Now, when he's backed Lewis Downey up like that, he must throw the right, because that left landed cleanly. But the right to the body, left to the head in reply from Downey. Gregory must keep the pressure on, as he did in the opening round. And this is what he's doing here now. Downey takes that stiff, straight right hand from Gregory. And both men have slowed now, but Downey more so. After a positive start to the second, he's just not throwing enough. Gregory happy to work behind the jab now, conserve energy after a hard working opening round. Now he's looking for the big right, but he's aware that he's open after throwing that right. Left of the body, right to the head from Downey. Gregory throws the big right, Downey ducks under it, looping right hand and left hook lands from Downey. And that left hook hurt, that left hook found the button. Now Downey, big moments for the red corner. Looping right, left of the body again. Tom. Different round, the second round. Large portions of that second round. Lewis Downey, hooking punches, found the target. Gregory worked far more off the jab through the right hand, far less frequently. That's because it was getting countered. He was getting countered with the left of the body or head when he threw that right hand. Now, I'm not saying Lewis Downey won that second, although he's got a good shout for it but it was far better for him, especially that last 30 seconds, which sets up an intriguing third and final round. Finish up, please, lad. Finish up, please. So here it is, third and final round. Hey, lads. Third and final round. Gregory takes centre ring once more. Downey, that bobbing and weaving style, the shorter man. And Gregory pouring out with the jab again, but this time Downey has grown in confidence as the bout's gone on. And this is where Gregory needs to keep him with the consistency of punches. It was the sheer amount of punches that Gregory threw that kept Downey backed up because Downey proved to be a tidy boxer when he got the opportunity. So what you've got to do is stop that opportunity. Both men bleeding now, the nose of Gregory bleeding. And Downey pushing forward with these hooking punches, the bob and weave style of Downey paying dividends in this third and final round. And Gregory under real pressure here in the third. Absolute slugfest here at SM Fight Club, back two. And Gregory, I felt, was at his best when he was letting the punches throw with both hands and keeping Downey backed up. Downey has grown in stature as the bout's gone on. And simple combinations, up and down, body and head, that have worked for Downey. Sets up the head to land to the body and vice versa. And Gregory's had his best success when he's had his man backed up against the ropes like that. Loving right hand, double right hand from Downey. Big left hook in reply 
from Gregory. It's a crowd pleaser, that's for sure, this one. Gregory stalking once more. And again, you feel if Lewis Downey was to come forward and really force the issue, this could be a very Ten different seconds. outcome. And there's 10 seconds left and they stand and trade. Downey springs up from that crouch stance to throw to the body and head. And that was a really entertaining boxing bout. Back and forward, both men took some heavy, heavy shots. I had Gregory cleanly winning the first. Downey at least a share of the second and probably taking the third. We could even have a draw here. But a superb bout and two men with very solid chins indeed. And we await the official decision. But from a, a very one-sided opening round, this became an intriguing contest. And for me, Downey grew into the bout. I think how the judges score the second round will be pivotal in this. So we're finally ready for the official announcement and this one could be very close indeed. So we have all boxes in the centre of the ring, please. Come on in, mate. decision second round I felt was pivotal so at least two judges gave that round to Gregory but it was an incredible bout and full credit to Lewis Downey who looked out of it in the first round what a comeback and what a bout